This one needs a corkscrew. This one needs a cork. It has a cork. It needs right. a corkscrew. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. You're Come almost on. there. I know. <laughs> How many people does it take ah, to do that? <laughs> Two, apparently. For this series, Claire and I set out to rate 10 wines under $10, and we paired each of them with a video game. Each wine will be given a score out of 100 and a video game pairing so that the next time you're broken at the liquor store, you can make an educated wine purchasing decision. In this episode, we're tasting a 2014 Dark Horse Pinot Noir with flavors of red cherry, strawberry, rose, lavender, and molasses. This wine retails for $7.99 and is supposed to offer a balanced palate and a subtle sweetness. Color. I put 10 out of 10 movie star wine. Clarity 8 out of 10, strangely clear for not being clear. <laughs> Aroma 3 out of 10, it's almost a thing. Finish 5 out of 10, you get hit with alcohol. Complexity 6 out of 10, it has feelings. Flavor 5 out of 10, I like the first white better. Intensity 7 out of 10, it thinks it's intense but its friends think it's a poser. <laughs> Drinkability. 6 out of 10. Don't bring this over when you'd like to meet your girlfriend's parents. Hmm. Drinkability. 7 out of 10. I don't hate it, yet it's still cheapy. Warmth. 10 out of 10. I'm warm. And the video game pairing for me, I put Gears of War because, I mean, it's fair. I picked Halo because it's not my favorite, but I can appreciate it. Claire gave it a 69 and I gave it a 64 with an average score of 66.5 out of 100. This is a pretty good budget wine if you're looking for a red with just a hint of sweetness. Just don't try to impress your SO's parents with it. At only 8 bucks, it pairs nicely with Microsoft IPs that refuse to cross the Rainbow Bridge and instead keep coming back with more sequels. Fourteen is the year on this guy or girl. Are wines male or female? I don't know. 